Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, my topic today is the wooden door culture of ancient Chinese architecture. I want to talk about uh, the formats of wooden doors in ancient China. We know that uh, buildings are usually were usually built in complexes in China, ancient China. By this, I mean that the Chinese architecture was not featuring a single or separate building for palace, for temples, for gardens, and people's home. They were usually constructed in complexes. For example, we can look at the rectangular courtyard buildings. Usually, they were cordoned off with uh, four walls with a rectangular shape. This is a very typical courtyard house in Beijing. They can provide a very serene living and private living space for ancient Chinese people. Starting from 2000 years ago in Han Dynasty, this courtyard design has been um, consistent throughout the history, even towards today. We can see the front door, this main door. We can have uh, inside door and also smaller doors of all the other buildings, at least three types of doors, three tiers of doors. And in our Chinese palaces, for example, the Forbidden City in Beijing was built in Ming and the Qing Dynasty. Had it been used for 600 consecutive years with uh, several hundred buildings and rooms. It is uh, actually a big courtyard house with a total floor space of 720,000 square meters. This is a central building, central architecture. If we go through this uh, courtyard, we have to go through this door, the southernmost door, the Yongding Gate. This is a Zhengyang Gate. This is Tian'an Gate, and also Duan Gate, and the Wuman Gate the Taihe Palace Gate, and also to finally to the Taihe Palace building, where the emperor presides over daily affairs. And this is the uh, Yongding Gate. It was actually reconstructed because it was demolished many years ago. And also, we are actually applying for the uh, World Heritage of the Central Axiom of the Beijing City featuring a series of doors and corridors. And this is another panel door. And this is the gate of the Havilland Peace. After this, uh, we can see this is the gate of the Havilland Peace, and uh, behind that is the, the Duanmen Gate, and also after that is the Wuman Gate of the Forbidden City, it's the actual front gate of the Forbidden City. This is the Taihe Gate. Taihe Gate actually is the very big uh, gate right in front of the three major palace buildings. And we have to climb three flights to enter the very power, venue of power of the ancient Chinese Empire. So we can see that in order to reach where the emperor was sitting, you have to go through a series of uh, main gates and doors. This was a manifestation of the supreme power of the ancient Chinese emperor. This is the same story for gardens and homes of the Chinese people. The buildings were usually built in complexes. So that is one key feature of ancient Chinese architecture. And also I want to talk about the doors of the separate buildings. We have two types of doors. One is like a screen type doors. And the other type are panel doors made from wooden panels. The screen type doors are usually used in the main buildings or complexes in the palaces or temples. Wooden panels are usually used in the garden type homes, which are designed more exquisitely. The screen door type would have a frame and with different smaller panels, has three parts. The top part is what we call Gexing, used for sunlight penetration. And the downside is the uh, bottom part is the screen door panel, screen panel part, separated by a smaller panel in between. They are usually, um, they usually come in two and uh, rarely used in one. So we always have even numbers, so you can count the number of panels on this door. 
we usually have uh, even numbers, rarely odd numbers. So when you look at uh, the top part of the pan uh, screen panels, they're usually designed very exquisitely because when people stand right in front of these doors, uh, this is the part closest to the eyes of the audience. So usually they're designed more exquisitely. And also you can look at the palace, the Taihe Palace, where the emperor presides over the daily affairs of the empire and uh, where the wedding ceremony was held for the emperors and empresses. So usually you can see there are even more panels on the top part of the screen doors. If you look closely to the top part, you can see we have uh, three wooden beams with uh, six um, with the triangular shaped decorations always coming in six but the number six is of a smaller um, tier or hierarchy in terms of uh, royal decoration and also on the bottom you can see there is a gold gilded uh, dragon shape. Dragon was the symbol of the emperor. So if you look at the ancient Chinese uh, uh, royal architecture, you will see all types of dragon decorations. And also you can see we have uh, two wooden beams rectangular to each other to act as a reinforcing frame of the panel. So you can count all these numbers. We have uh, 10 dragons on this. And actually, if you count uh, one panel, you can find uh, 57 dragons. For the whole Taihe Dian Palace, there are altogether 12,000 dragons. You can count them by yourselves, if you wish. And also, China has a long history, thousands of years of feudal system. Etiquette was the most important, was the most important uh, thing in the ancient society. Therefore, the bigger the buildings was, the more important the building were for. And also, if you look at the panels, you can see different hierarchies. So, on the left, it is of the highest level of decoration with the gilded dragon decoration and uh, with the uh, triangle shapes coming in six in sets. And beside that, you can see it is in the more simplified version. And towards the very right, the very right screen door panel was used in ordinary people's houses. You can see very simple design. And of course, if you look at the uh, bottom left, it was the, the highest level of decoration with gilded dragon shape. But if you look to the right, you can see the pattern are becoming more and more simplified. But anyway, usually the doors are gilded in gold and painted in red. But only the emperor's houses could have the uh, dragon shape. And also for Chinese people, many people believed in Buddhism. But uh, when Buddhism was introduced in ancient China, it has become a kind of mundane belief. And there was no strict uh, scripture among the Chinese believers, and the people believed what they wanted to believe. And when Buddhism was introduced into China, it was incorporated with folklores and uh, uh, local goddesses and gods. So we can look at uh, the decoration pattern of the temples in China. This is the screen door panel in the uh, Buddhist temple in Kunming city. So you can see that on the top part of the screen doors, we have all types of uh, decorative shapes, including the scrolls, the Chinese calligraphic brushes, the vases, and uh, flowers. So although these panel patterns were used in the Buddhist temple, you can see all these shapes actually represent a kind of uh, feeling for ancient Chinese intellectuals, a pursuit of intellectual um, expertise. And you can see this is a lotus flower pattern. Lotus flower 
uh, represented the purity and the character of the um, enlightened intellectuals. So that's why it was carved into the top part of the screen door panel. And on the left, you can see there was a collection of flowers, leaves, and birds. And also, you can see that these kind of patterns were widely used in the uh, screen wooden panels in ancient China. And you can see that on the left, there were some plume flowers, uh, the peach flowers, uh, the only blossoms in winter, a representation of uh, enlightened people's character. And also, there are some birds. Uh, these birds had uh, very uh, beautiful tunes. They can sing beautiful tunes loved by ancient Chinese people. So basically, from this uh, Buddhist uh, temple's uh, wooden door panel, we can see the ancient Chinese belief. This is a six-part uh, panel. So you can see that one branch of the peach flower tree is cutting across all six panels from left to right. And on this branch, we can see several birds. It was kind of uh, ancient Chinese pursuit of harmony between man and nature. At the background, we could see bamboos and uh, pines, pine trees. Bamboos, peach flower, and uh, pine trees were considered to be the three most, uh, three dearest nature, nature friends of ancient Chinese intellectuals. Uh, this is a very unique panel door set. Uh, it is very rare to see a whole picture carved into six separate panels. They, were, they could be considered as a one whole picture or could be appreciated as a separate pictures. This was a representation of the outstanding craftsmanship of ancient Chinese craftsmen. This is another picture of the panel. It is a close-up of the panel, but we can still see the dragon shape. People would wonder why ordinary people dare to use the dragon shape. But I want to tell you that dragon used to be the totem of Chinese ancient people uh, in ancient times. And also that in this uh, festival there will be some uh, celebration symbol by dragon and it means happiness. So that's why the dragon decoration has been used a long time ago. Another one is about the uh, decoration. In, this is in the Anhui Jixi, in the village, and that is also the hometown of the Hu Shizhi, who is a very famous writer of China. And in this, um, in his old home, that for each of that, there is a vase on that. And the vase has the same pronunciation as safety. So when you have, for example, like a hundred vase, that means that everything will be safety. Another one is it is dec decorated with the flowers and also there are some animals, birds, and it means that the harmony and happiness. So all of these have shown them that the Hu family has a blessing or expectation for the future generations. And also if we look at about these uh, on the common buildings, you can see they use the peach means the long life, and also use some other symbols of the animals and the plants to show the blessing. And also because when there is a garden that the people tend to sit in the middle and to look outside, so that's why that these kind of the wooden windows, it will be hollow on the top side. So when you sit in the hall and in the middle of the room, you can look directly into the outside into the garden. And also for some of the decoration, they use the characters or writings to decorate. And this is divided by the types of the building. If we divide it by the regions, there are also many different styles. For example, these are in the northern part of China, in the residential building, which shows a very concrete 
very、uh, solid. Well, in Shanxi, because it's a、um, a province with many merchants, so that's why they use the very expensive ones, and they use the golden colors to decorate that. So the overall style is very detailed. It's very beautiful, and also in the southern part of China, it looks to be very light. And this one. Is what we call the tortoise pattern. The tortoise、uh, means、uh, long life in China, so that's why they use this kind of tortoise pattern. And、uh, this one is a very common pattern. However, if you look exactly in this pattern, that on different、uh, twists and turns. And it can go directly from the bottom to the top. So in total, it is、uh, whole one line, one wooden line. So that's why this one is called the unstopped wooden line. It means that the whole family can go on for many generations. And this is what we call the windmill pattern. You can see that it's like the windmill very much. And also in the middle of that, they also plus some、um, people's figure as a decoration. And this is what we call the eyes pattern. Because in the winter, when you step on the eyes, these are the patterns you can observe. And in the middle, that we also have this kind of the orchard and which blossomed. And this can also be seen in the southern part of China. And on this、uh, wooden plate, and it's because the people can stare that very closely, so they also try to put some story or drama on that. So if we go to the southern part of China, Guangdong, they use the black color plus the golden decoration. And if we look closely, this is the phoenix. The phoenix is the king of all the birds, and the、uh, peony is the king of the flowers. So when put these two together, it means that the kings of all the animals and plants. And this one is in another room. It's also the very similar style. They have the birds and the flowers and all the symbolic figures. So that's why the style of this is very luxury. And in Fujian, Fujian province, because they have a lot of overseas Chinese to do business, so they are very competitive. They want to show or represent the rich, the richness of the family. So you can see the decoration is very complex, and this one has many different shapes, the round, the fan, and also they use. This kind of the traditional principle of China to make them into story and as a decoration on the window, and more complex is that they put the story of the drama on the window, and from this way. That after this kind of a window, they even have like five kinds or five layers. And due to the interest of time, I will just、uh, skip several, skip several slides. If you look at the Fujian or other places, on the top side, like I mentioned, is hollow. The light can go through. Well, the decoration has filled the whole,、uh, the whole window and. 
and the real function has deterioration, but it has become more and more of a decoration. This decoration function has already made people to separate that into the wooden decoration, and you can see that it can show, it can be seen on many places of China, on TV, in the restaurants or hotels. That for each of these kind of the windows so actually become a kind of decoration art. And this kind of decoration art can be separated from the building and it can be used widely. This is also the charm we have for the wooden door. Thank you very much.